Project B7RS4 2.7T update here. We're pretty much done um, um, getting everything here sorted out. Just a minor update here with uh, what's progressed. Since the last update here, we've got the ABS 5.7 here all wired in. Um, still need a little bracket here off this parts car for these uh, two connectors for the fans, but ABS works. ESP, all that works. We've got all the fan control um, situation under control. And let's kind of go through that here quickly. As well as cruise control, everything works on this car now. So uh, zero compromises in terms of losing functionality on the car. So um, so what, what I've done is I've created a little fan control module using an, an Arduino board. Um, and I've actually, you know, silly as it sounds, I've got a, uh, a couple of... Uh, RJ45 little boxes here. Got, uh, got one you can see right here and one you can just see the top of the wire right there. So this one here is actually the cooling uh, cooling fan module. You got a very simple code in here. I, I have never done any type of coding whatsoever nor did I understand and still don't understand most of it. But anyways, I was able to cobble something together, just a few inputs. I think uh, I've got an input or I got two inputs from uh, the coolant fan switch on the bottom rad hose of the 2.7T and those two inputs feed into here uh, for the uh, for two fan speeds, um, high and low speed, as it was in a 2.7T stock configuration. Uh, I've also got a third input here from the uh, from down in here with, um, and actually also I, I matched the wire colors to the factory colors. I searched through many many harnesses I had lying around just to find those, but I did. So I've got a, a an input here from the um, this this gray wire here gray with blue from the uh, AC pressure switch PWM signal so um, as the uh, pressure at the condenser switch there uh, AC pressure switch uh, comes up it'll increase the fan speed accordingly um, you got the power here going to that module this this wire here is actually tied into the regular fan control module um, uh, fuse here so you know it's uh, you know I'll still have some of that you know if something goes wrong it'll be all in the same fuse there um, added a second fuse that 10 amp fuse there with a label for cruise and gauges so i've added a a wide band that's sitting in there as well well I think actually the wide band is sitting in the uh, uh glove box there it's going to mount it up to the right of the cd changer and have it on a hinge so if i ever really just wanted to watch it for a small drive it's also tied into the ecu through one of the uh, uh post cat o2 sensors so i can i can log that with uh, me7 logger i don't ever have to look at the gauge Anyway, so this, um, you know, this, uh, this will have actually, there's about, uh, there's a few lines of code in here. So there's di different, different scenarios. You know, if, if you've got just the coolant temp at, you know, 95 Celsius, it'll come up uh, at about 25% uh, duty cycle out of the fans. If it, uh, if the second uh, coolant, sw uh, coolant fan switch closes, uh, the fans will run at about 95%. Um, also with the AC, I've got a ramp up from about uh, 30 to 60%. Um, um, uh, fan uh, fan control and then uh, in the event that the AC is on and also the coolant gets hot it'll it'll uh, it'll speed up yet again so a few a few little fail safes in here worse in, and if this were ever to fail unplugging it here from this little uh, box automatically uh, puts the fans into a safe mode so I kind of did that uh, you know on purpose so for one thing you can take this out and you know take it in the house and Make any updates to the code, or if I wanted to copy this, and or anybody wanted to see what I've got in here, I'm more than willing to share share what I've done here. Uh, you know, before Warren, the code is just something that I cobbled together. It works fine. I just, uh, you know, don't laugh too hard. But anyways, um, that's that. Cruise control. I've got cruise control working 100%. Um, now to do that, I had to modify the stock cruise control switch. So the, here's the. Uh, the cruise control switch that was in this B7, which is the same B6 and B7 are all the same, and it plugs in to the steering um, um, steering wheel control module, I believe, or steering systems, whatever control module. Um, I could listen to the CAN signals, uh, and also again through the Arduino, I could uh, I could activate some outputs for this, um, but I needed a second module for that, and I I knew this was going to be easy, so I just took apart. I grabbed another switch, this one here out of a B6, but same thing. These B6, B7, and internally they have several uh, 
several resistors in there to send the different uh, uh, different signals to this module here, which in then in turn communicates with the ECU and sets the crews accordingly. Um, knowing that the um, the B5 and C5 um, uh, cruise control was all 100% analog, it was actually these uh, this this connector that you see here in my hand. This is unmolested from the 2.7T harness, so this this runs to the orange connector up under the plenum or in the box where the ECU is. So it comes to here unmolested. This side of the connector here is actually the, the side that connected to the original uh, B5 or C5 um, cruise, cruise control stock up here. So, um, and in this box is just basically, uh, it's just a small relay um, uh, to control when, when the cruise is shut off. Unlike the B5 and C5, so this is cruise off on a B6 or B7, uh, which closes a circuit. And on the B5 and C5, cruise off opened two circuits. So I've got a relay in there, a, a double pull, double throw relay uh, that, uh, you know, so when it's on here, it defaults to both circuits being closed. The ECU is happy. It knows the AC, um, the cruise is on. Hit the set, hit the resume or accelerate, uh, and that works. Um, but, um, but in order to shut the cruise off, I mean, the clutch switch works, the, the, the brake pedal works, but, you know, I can never be too safe. I, I don't want to... Uh, you know, have any liabilities in this regard. So I've, um, if I were to ever sell this, which I don't think I see myself doing that anytime soon. But anyways, um, I've got this. So when you shut this off, closes the circuit in here, opens the uh, opens the two uh, poles there on the on the relay, and the cruise shuts off officially. So and that too is wired into a box with a a little connector here on top. So um, uh, it just you know I have lots of these things lying around. Uh, with very little use for them and you know this is all this is all low low current stuff so uh no issues i've run it through the uh, uh steering column here so no issues here with the telescoping column and the wire has to come out of the front of the switch here as you see uh that's the only spot where there's lots of room around the uh, the shroud there that covers the bottom of the steering column it, the shroud sits quite tight here uh, sorry quite tight here along the bottom and quite tight around the corner but lots of room in the front and it'll just sit nice in there uh, what else? Got a few other things in here. It doesn't look the prettiest, but I'm just going to tidy this up. This is a, uh, a prototype gauge that I've got that's actually uh, right in there. So um, um, just got to clean that up and respray the uh, uh, tint, uh, the respray this this piece here. But I don't like anything tacked on, so it'll uh, it should look all right there. Like like I said, this uh, this little uh, segment display is uh, um, I had a little mishap here when. Uh, sanding some of this coating off but it, it works i just have to uh, i'm gonna put a new segment display on here and uh and that's that no check engine lights of any kind uh or or any other lights uh there's a, our wide band here and you can never have too many boost gauges so i've actually got i've got the boost gauge here and then i'll have another one mounted in here again on a hinge because i think every boost gauge adds about five horsepower and I just realized that the fans came on because I have the um, module disconnected. As soon as I connect this up, fans will shut up. So everything's happy. I'm happy. So um, the, this car actually sounds pretty good with the uh, with the RS4 stock exhaust. Uh, right now it's just running test pipes, but um, it does it does sound pretty good for a 2.7T. So, it doesn't have the V8 rumble, never will, but I'm pretty happy with how it sounds. Yeah, it's just the brake switch, the brake, uh, um, emergency brake, but everything works there, so. Um, as a matter of fact, I, uh, when the cruise is set, there is a little uh, LED that lights up up here saying uh, the cruise is set, but uh, you don't have a visual indication here in the center display of the speed that it's set to, but that's a minor thing. And actually having the little LED there is something I didn't even think I'd have, so that's nice. But So yeah, I'm um, going to button this all up, take her for a drive, and uh, that's that. Thank you.